and welcome to Bits of Blender. Hello. Today we're going to be working on text frames. Now this is for when you want 3D text in columns, such as this. Uh, you can do that in Blender. So I will delete this cube, go on top view, orthographic, add some text. I'm going to edit it and add lorem ipsum, which is here, insert lorem. Uh, it's nice that Blender even has that, because that, using dummy text like lorem ipsum is something that people have been using since, you know, typesetting days. Yeah. So, right here, it's a very long line of text, and we don't want that. We want columns of text. So you can set the dimensions of your text here. So first, I actually want to decrease the size a little bit. So I'll make this point 2. And now it's really tiny, but that's what I want. Uh, and I'll set the width to 3. Or three. All right, we've got this paragraph of text, but I said columns, plural, so I'm going to need more text. So I'll do shift up arrow to select this and uh, copy, paste some. And you see it flows down like this, but if we add a text box and set the parameters of our first one to four and the height, then we can uh, offset this by something like 3.25. And um, here we have another column. Now you can do this as much as you want. Uh, I'll add another one here and um, double the offset to 6.5. Now it's important to remember that you can do stuff with this text that you can do with normal text, like extruding it and other neat stuff like that. I'll go to 7 and set my camera here. Control Alt 0. Move it a little bit since I'm OCD. And uh, render. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Hopefully you did. And we'll see you next time.